Right, so when you were at that banquet, was there a little bit of talk and gossip about tensions and things going on behind the scenes? No, everything was very uh, friendly and it was a very fine banquet. No hitches at all. Right. Now, one of the charges, of course, is that the Queen obviously feels that the ambassador, that they, they were, were Chinese team rude to the ambassador. It could be they were rude. It could be clash of cultures or misunderstanding. What do you think? Well, I, I don't know. I have no idea, nor you, nor no. most of us, because we weren't there. But all I say is that we have two different cultures and two different, very different languages. I mean, I speak both English and Chinese. And uh, for us Chinese even, uh, we are very monosyllabic and very loud and very blunt because it's like a staccato because every word is just a singular sound. So even to ourselves we sound a bit rude. So to the Westerner we might sound very rude. And when that's translated into English, uh, that's even possibly more rude. It's like when I <laughs> went to Beijing, I wanted an alarm call, and when the phone came at 7 o'clock, I picked up the phone, and the other end, uh, the concierge says, get out. Uh, and I said, what do you mean, get out? Uh, for, the, for, for the Chinese, that's that not rude. Just, yes. no, OK, OK, so there could, there could be a bit of cultural misunderstanding. One would hope the ambassador, at least, would understand a bit about the, uh, the, I, the culture. Yes, I, I mean... Uh -huh. um, you know, the British diplomats are very soft-spoken. Did, did, you, did you know anything about this carriage row, the row over who got in the carriage to ride with the Queen and well, eventually, President Xi? I think uh, only the interpreter, who was probably the, the, the it's, security it's guard Which well. interpreter, yeah. Was it, yeah, it, it, yeah. yeah. Well, he obviously spoke Chinese and English, uh, but, you know, this whole incident is really a, a storm in a, a teacup. I mean, if the gold commander, as she was called, um, should complain about the Chinese, I can't imagine what she would be like dealing with the Americans. You know, all these people with <laughs> dark glasses, hundreds of them, with the ear things um, coming out, looking like Arnold Schwarzenegger. I mean, they, were in, they must have been incredibly... Do you, do you think the Chinese more... care what, what, about this kerfuffle? I mean, they, they, no, they appear to absolutely. care enough that they censored it from the BBC uh, the, the, World The Chinese Broadcast. censor all sorts of things, millions <laughs> right. of things. Okay, I mean, they don't have to care much to censor something. No, the, the, the state was that it was a very uh, uh, a successful visit, and this incident is completely um, a storm in a teacup. Um, I actually uh, thought that it was rather odd for the Lord Chamberlain to bring this subject up at a garden party. I mean, you know, everybody was enjoying uh, it, albeit uh, rather raining rather heavily, <laughs> but, but why do you want to talk about uh, you know, somebody being rude uh, ten months ago uh, when you could be talking about so many things. Well, you could be making small talk about the rain and the weather and you... you, you... Do you think the Chinese would be surprised? I mean, it's certainly not what they would do, that it's been broadcast and publicised everywhere, I mean... No, I don't think so. I think, um, I, I think everybody, not even the Chinese, but I should imagine the British government couldn't care less about um, how this was interpreted. I mean, it's, it's really a non-incident. I mean, the fact that um, they heard what the Queen said. I mean, the Queen is perfectly entitled to her own private, private conversation. Views, yeah. uh, I blame, I'm afraid, again, the Lord Chamberlain for putting a microphone near her and not heeding that um, whatever she said could have been heard. What, um, what's the general state of... Anglo-Chinese, British-Chinese relations at the moment. Are they Very strong? Good. I mean, you've got a George, Os a Chancellor George Osborne. You can't get. I mean, he, you can't get more slick than him. I mean, he's like a. He's keen, he's very Exxon keen. Exxon Valdez, yeah. uh, uh, well, as far as China is <laughs> concerned, and uh, and the Chinese love it. Sir David, thanks very much. Thank you very much.